So we've so far added the configuration. We still have these two dev container, the JSON file and this Docker file file. Um, but uh, it, it's not entirely clear how they affect the environment. So let's just start by opening up a terminal and see what the default is. Now, remember, I've only added the files. I got the prompt for rebuilding the container. I said, no, not for now. Uh, I want to look at these, uh, these files and, and poke around them. And I'm going to open up a new terminal. And the terminal, uh, I want to check a couple of things. So the first thing I want to check is my Python version. So I'm going to say Python dash dash version, it's Python 3.10. And, um, and this is doing cat OS release to check what the version of the operating system is, and it is uh, Ubuntu 20.04. All right, so let me change the environment. All right, so uh, right now this is going to uh, come from the dev container that JSON is going to change to 3.9 and Python 3.9 and Bullseye, which is going to be the Debian based operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild and again, command palette, I'm going to type in rebuild. And the first option that you want to select is the code spaces rebuild container. I'm going to select that one and it is going to uh, well, you're going to get this warning, which is useful, that if you have any uh, code um, and any current changes will be preserved by the code space, will be rebuilt using the work, uh, working directory step container. That means that uh, be aware that if you have system changes, those will, you're effectively changing the operating system, the underlying compute. So I'm going to click rebuild. It's going to take a second. It takes me again back to the setting up your code spaces. Uh, image found container build and builds the container from scratch. Now this is useful because if it takes longer, you can click on the logs and you will see you will see that there's a lot of uh, uh, things going on like uh, layers being pulled in and all kinds of uh, different things being built in and, and being run to build that container. So let's wait a second until that completes. All right, so that completed and our code space has loaded we've uh, changed this uh, configuration, the environment. So let's take a look at our terminal again. So I'm going to open up my terminal and things seem the same. So let's check our Python version. So I'm going to say Python dash dash version. And you can see that it changed from uh, 3.10 through 3.9. So now we have 3.9 there. Uh, that sounds fine. And now let's poke around the operating system. Let's see what we have for the operating system. And you can see that it's no longer Ubuntu. This is running Debian. So uh, you have a couple of options here. I'm going to close this out. You have a couple of options here. You have the arguments that are passed into the Docker file. You can pass in 3A, 3.9 or anything that is supported. You can see here that you have uh, several different supported versions. Uh, you have the Docker file uh, changes there, but um, those change the environment. And additionally, you can go to the Docker file and make any specific changes. You also have these uh, commented out very useful uh, settings here. So if you wanted to do, uh, for say, for example, uh, install an, an additional operating system uh, package, like you need to have something that, uh, you know, a special library, then you will run something like this. Uh, it is important that you make sure, I mean, right now they're using that in the example, which is the dash y install dash dash no install recommends. Uh, that means that this will be non-interactive. It won't prompt you for confirmation. So this will just happen automatically. So that's, that's useful that they've included that. So if you want something for the operating system, you will do that there. So there you go. That is how you configure your environment. And it gives you the options to uh, continue altering that environment as well.